the latest on July 28th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Tropical storm Eric has formed in the eastern Pacific and is going to be trekking towards the central Pacific, maybe towards Hawaii. The remnants of Nari persist moving through the east coast of Japan and moving out over the Pacific now. We've had 37 storms so far this year uh, on July 28th. It's day 58 of the, Atlant of the Atlantic hurricane season. No systems are active at this time. Day 75 in the eastern Pacific and Eric uh, is now the main feature that 90E behind it also has a high chance of development. In the west Pacific, remnants of Nari moving through Japan still just about to clear the island now and then we'll move out towards the northeast and no systems are active in the southern hemisphere today. So the main feature is Tropical Storm Eric, currently has winds of 40 miles per hour and 1006 millibars. The National Hurricane Center did a special update statement, they'll be doing another update in a few hours time. 868 miles from Isla Clarion, 11.6 north, 125.8 degrees west. Looking over the next few days, its movement will continue west-northwest through the weekend into the early part of next week. will continue as a tropical storm will intensify, reach hurricane status uh, at some point, probably when it crosses the central Pacific line there, that larger line. Uh, then towards the end of this coming week, it will approach Hawaii, as you just saw on that imagery there. This is Invest 90E with winds of 20 miles per hour and a pressure of 1,009 millibars. Uh, its current position is 10.4 north, 104 degrees west, 522 miles south-southwest of Acapulco. Uh, this system will continue to trek away from land as well. Uh, we'll move towards the west-northwest, similar direction to Eric, really following in its footsteps. Over the next few days, we expect it to reach tropical storm status, maybe by Monday at the latest, probably. And then that will probably intensify, maybe even beyond what Eric will get to. Hurricane status, we expect, at the very least. This is the wind shear graphic over Eric right now. The uh, green lines there showing that the wind shear values are favorable uh, over the storm, uh, dropping from 10 to around five knots in the next few hours there as it continues to the west-northwest, um, or maybe even due west at the moment, actually. So wind shear is certainly not going to be a problem for this storm, at least right now. Looking around the world then, the North Atlantic looks like this right now. There's an interesting area of uh, thunderstorms approaching the Lesser Antilles. Um, a little bit more going on now in that main development region because the Saharan air has been beat back a little bit, but it is still quite prevalent. That will continue to uh, decay probably as we get through the summer, or maybe it won't, like some years have proven in the past. The Gulf of Mexico looking a bit quiet, some tropical uh, some thunderstorms occurring there. The Eastern Pacific, as you can see, Eric is not a very large storm at all. When you look at the grand scheme of things, you can still see the remnants of Delilah to its northwest, 90E on the far right there. Uh, in the Central Pacific region, as you can see, Eric in relation to Hawaii still got some way to go before it gets near, um, and models are suggesting it will probably move south of the islands. The Western Pacific looking fairly quiet right now, but you can see that little... Uh, large area, broad area of thunderstorms that are occurring all across the ocean really. On the eastern side there that could develop into a storm in the next five days. Further west near the Philippines all of that activity could develop into a tropical cyclone in the South China Sea in the next four days. In the Australia and South Pacific region this is the imagery right now. There's some interesting looking thunderstorms occurring near Samoa. And in the Indian Ocean Monsoonal activity continuing the pattern there across India, as expected for this time of year. Nothing untoward here. It's pretty quiet. Sea surface temperatures look like this in the eastern Pacific. Temperatures around 28 degrees, maybe even higher where Eric is right now. They'll start to tail off a little bit. 90E in an even better environment for sea surface temperatures. The Atlantic also warm around the uh, Florida Strait there in particular, the hot spot really out over the Western Atlantic, still warm too. The uh, Bay of Bengal, 30 degrees, just about hovering off the coast of uh, northeastern India and Bangladesh. The South China Sea, very warm, and as you can see, the 30 degree temperatures extending all the way from the uh, Gulf of Tonkin to the Mariana Islands, in uh, all adjoined now. 
more imagery here, the floater imagery of Tropical Storm Eric, looking at the last six or seven hours of this storm's development. Um, interesting that they did, develop, uh, they did designate it as a tropical storm at this time. They are citing observational data. Um, it's a close call. No ASCAP reports at the moment to help us with that one. Invest 90E, uh, by comparison, much broader, obviously, uh, but it is sort of lacking some rotation at this time, and that is something it will need to acquire and probably will do over the next few days. It's got plenty of time and great conditions ahead of it. The next name on the Atlantic naming list will be Chantal. In the Eastern Pacific, we're looking out for Flossie. It could be 90E. In the Central Pacific, Akoni is the next name on the list. In the Western Pacific, we've had Nari, and the next name is Wifa, followed by Francisco. In the North Indian Ocean, Hika will be the next name on list 8. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text if you're not there already, subscribe if you haven't so far, and you can find our social platforms on Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13 all in text, and you can send us a message there at any time. That's all for now, we'll have another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description.